Hi guys, this is KJOS and you're welcome to one of my first of many how-to videos. And it's been a long time coming but Google have finally given us something that's equivalent to what Apple has for iMessage. This is called RCS or Rich Communication Services. This basically allows you to send uh, messages, videos and uh, audio to Android to Android devices without any SMS charge. And this was supposed to roll out sometime next year, but with the beta systems in place, Google has allowed us to actually get it now. So let's see what this is all about. So on my Pixel 3, I've already installed it. I've been using it now for a couple of days. Um, as you can see, I've been having conversations with my friend, just different, uh, just different things, just testing it out. And to be fair, it works on any Android device. So I'm going to try and install this on my Huawei 9 Prime and see if it works. But I guarantee you that it'll work. So let's see if this actually will pan out. Um, the first thing you want to do is turn off your Wi-Fi. This will identify RCS with your mobile number and make things work properly. The next thing you want to do after that step two is to go to the Play Store and install the Messages app. If you've already, if you've already installed this, all you need to do is go all the way down and join the beta program. Once joined in, you have to go back, come back in, and uh, an update will be waiting for you as you just saw. So once you install this update, you need to um, turn off your mobile phone. You need to restart this for everything to actually come into place. This enables RCS to actually come on your phone and work properly. Um, so as I'm waiting for my download, which I don't know why it's taking so long, um, I'm just gonna go go back out and come back in when it's all finished so we can, we can go to the next few steps. So it's finally done. It took way longer than usual, but um, so it's what's done is done. Anyway, um, so as this has finished, you have to go um, and restart your phone. When you restart your phone, this kind of puts in the branches for us yes to properly work. So we're going to restart this, and uh, again, when I come back, we're going to try and finish a few steps. It's just five few steps, so we have two more left. This is step three. Hey guys, so the phone has restarted. So let's actually try and finish these steps in due time. So this is step four we're about to get into. Uh, so let's just try and finish them in, in time, like I said. Uh, so the next thing you wanna do is get over to the settings app. In this place, you have to find your app list and delete a few things or delete data in a few apps. So you have to find one called Career Services. This is right, I think I passed it. Uh, this is right here, right there, there we go. Um, if you don't already have this, or if your phone does not have this, you need to go to the Play Store and um, install it again. So once that is done, you have to head over to the storage area and actually clear data right there. You have to delete that. Um, after that, you have to get to step five. So step five, this is the last and final step. So after you've cleared data in this, we need to go back to the Play Store and download an app called Activity Launcher. I've already installed mine, so this is what you have to do to actually get RCS. So once you've actually done this, you have to open the app. I'm just gonna have to let it load for a bit. There we go. So you find the Google Messages app that we've been talking about so many times today. I mean, the fun drinking game is actually drinking when I say messages. Anyway, um, you get into this, you have to scroll all the way down and right here, uh, it says set RCS flags, you click on that. So for the ACS URL, you have to click on the last one. That's the ACS product.us or sandbox.google.com. And the OTP pattern, there's only one option here, so you have to click that. Uh, once you're done with all this, you have to press the apply button as if I can find it. Oh, crap. Yeah, there we go. So you press the apply button. I think that's done. After then, you have to go back to the settings, go back to the uh, settings app go to where the apps are listed, and when you get to the Messages app, the Google Messages app, it's like, again, if I can find it, you have to force stop. When you force stop, this really makes a huge difference entirely. So it kind of like restarts the entire application for everyone. So once you go, to, once you force stop, you have to go to the Messages app itself. Uh, you see an upgrade button right there. Um, there we go. So you have to click on that. You see, as it says, uh, do more with messages to get chat features like messaging over Wi-Fi and data, let messages stay connected in the background. So you press next. Oh, it's gonna load for a bit. Oof. I, I thought this was gonna, this is usually, yeah. So you're gonna see this, excuse the wait, messages will let you know when the app, when this step is complete rather. 
So I mean, we can wait or, you know, you can run in the background and you can go back to your chat settings, go to settings right there, general and chat features. As you can see, it's still setting up. It's trying to identify my number. And, uh, you know, we can try again and put our number there. I mean, I'm not gonna put that there for security reasons. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up. You know, the, the, the step, next step really is just to put your number here and let it verify. So when, it all, when, when I put my number in and it, it, it sets up, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna just finish everything and show you how RCS really works. I'm gonna chat myself up with my Pixel phone and you'll see how seamless it is. Hey guys, welcome back. I know there's a bit of a difference in my background, but I had to get to work. Yes, I do have a nine to five, I have to get to every day, but you know, we still have to finish this video. So what I realized is that um, you cannot get RCS on a dual SIM card. So after extensive research, I found out that you can't. That's why my Y9 Prime was giving me a bit of an issue. So what I did, I took my friend's uh, Samsung S8 and I put the same settings and as you can see, it's connected. We both have RCS enabled, enabled on our phones. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna talk to, well, I'm gonna talk to myself. Uh, as you can see, we've already started talking, but you know, I can just show you how it works. I'm gonna just say, hey, uh, it's gonna pop here. And the good thing about Google Messages is it has like um, smart replies. So I can say, hey, what's up, right there. And you see here, I can also type, and you can see the chat bubbles that are there. So it's just a really nice way to, uh, to send messages to people. You can send at least or, um, like around 100 megabytes of files to people. And uh, I think that is great. I think, that, uh, I think that's, that's, that's great. So this is what RCS is all about. Also remember that to actually have RCS, the person you're talking to also has to have it enabled. So please share this with people so you guys can actually get this going. Uh, remember, this is a beta version and the final file should be out next year if Google has everything right. So thanks for watching and please give this a thumbs up if you found this particular video useful. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because in a week or two, I will be reviewing the Pixel 4 and giving my thoughts on it. So stay tuned. And with that all being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one where we talk everything tech.